Good morning, it's your girl Nisha here with another video. Uh, it is, well, if you're new here, first of all, welcome to my channel. Second of all, if you're not, welcome back. It is Monday, November 22nd, and the time is about 6.14, 6.15 a.m. And today is finally our homeowner's orientation. We are at the finish line. Um, we cross it next week on December 2nd when we close. Uh, the house today is expected to be about 95% complete. That's what our um, builder is saying, uh, our project manager, but we'll see. And you'll also see because I'm bringing you guys along. All right, we're about to hit this road. See you in a bit. Okay, so hey, it's like 8.20. We just pulled up to the house. Our meeting is at nine o'clock. So um, we got a little bit of time to kind of walk around. For me, for me, I'm not gonna say disappointed. I don't know if that's the right word that I'm feeling right now, but I just was expecting the outside to at least be complete. Cause we're like a little, I think we have like a what, a week and a half to close in this Monday. Yeah, like, yeah, like maybe 10 days. So I guess I was just expecting, cause it's been a week since I've been here that the least the outside will be complete, but it's not. So I'll just turn it around and let you guys see. All right. Okay, so the door is still not painted. Um, it's supposed to be black and they haven't even finished the brick up there. So the columns are not complete. Um, looks like they're still working on it. Um, let's see. We do not have a garage door yet, as you can see. So, I don't know. That door's locked. That door's locked? Okay, so that door is locked. Yeah, so the columns are not complete. The front door is not painted. All of this needs to be completed. this door is locked so hold on a second um let me get in and then i'll be back okay so we went around to the back of the house and was able to get into the sliding door but as you can see my fan is in outside um and when i say my because the patio area is my special area um this has not been painted either as you can see so all right going inside okay our refrigerator is here that's nice of course it's not hooked up yet but okay yes it is it's hooked up they just haven't slid it in yet okay They fix, look like some of the paint. I'm all over the place with this video. I'm just trying to get it done before um, Zach gets here. Okay, so this is missing a light. I'm gonna turn on some lights in here. Hold on a second. Where is it? Okay, there we go. Um, this is our microwave. Yeah. Where is the door? <laughs> oh my goodness. That is different. There's no handle. That's gorgeous. That's a really nice upgrade. This is not the right stove. This is not our stove. We upgraded the stove, so this is not correct. Our stove is supposed to have two ovens. So I don't know if it's on back order or what, um, because 
yeah, I don't know if it's on back order because everything's on back order, but this is not correct. So got to make sure I say something about that. Um, the backsplash is complete, which looks great. They put the backsplash over here. This was not there. Feel the same in that pantry. Okay, that's still missing a handle. This I told you last week was incorrect, but after talking to them, we've decided to keep it. Our garbage cans in there. This drawer is still sticking. Oh. This is in. Dishwasher. Okay. So, still looks like they've painted again um but there are still some areas that need touch up like that and okay so looks like they've already started kind of putting blue tape in areas that needs touched up we got carpet. I'll come back to that. <laughs> I guess I'm excited. I, I guess I'm so excited that, you know, I'm just kind of all over the place. And I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to hurry up and get it done before he comes. So they finished the tile in, it, in here in the guest bathroom, which looks great. I guess there's still a little bit of work needs to be done there. Okay. All right, let me go to the other room. But yeah, so you see here, they have already started putting little blue tape places, but this all needs to be done. This is all. The carpet is down. gray you can't really tell too much on the camera but it's in this room looks pretty good other than the touch-up paint that needs to happen okay I'm gonna hurry and go upstairs like I said this is not gonna be the best video um, today because we will be meeting with him shortly and I don't want um, to be filming while I'm doing that. Cause I wanna definitely be in the moment and make sure that I don't miss anything. So, this is just, like I said, this is all incorrect. Um, our house comes with like that security system thing. So, um, I'm guessing they cut this out to put the security there. We've also kind of upgraded um, some things and got like um, the cameras outside of the home, the security cameras outside the home. So I'm pretty sure that's probably why that's there. This is the closet that is still crooked. So that's something we need to address. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs. We have um, carpet on the stairs. This doesn't look like it's been stained. It has not, so. The paint looks good with the carpet, but yeah, this is, this is just way light. But the carpet looks great.
no major changes, just paint. This is the loft. Like I said, there's just some areas that need um, a lot of touch-ups. And like I said, they've already started putting blue tape there. Um, which is, I guess, what we'll be doing today. After um, we go over the smart features of the home. But this is another room, which is, like I said, more of the same. That shower is also been tiled, but I can see right there, there's something going on. Like it's not flush. And these, that's still crooked over there. Just little things. Our wash and dryer is here. Ooh, fancy, fancy. So we did order um, wash and dryer and refrigerator through them because with the back order and everything taking so long to come, it just made more sense to order it and not be without a refrigerator. Um, be without a refrigerator for like who knows when so we just went on and order it so that way when we close it's already in here but all right let's check out the owner suite sorry about the noise it's the plastic um on the carpet so So yeah, that's the fan. I guess they covered it up so that way they can paint again. Um, and here looks great. It's just um, little touch-ups on the paint. The carpet looks good. I'm loving the gray. Okay. All right. This is the bathroom. Okay, so that's still not finished. As you can see, the window's still not finished. But he told me that the house would not be completely finished today, which it's not. He said about 95%. Um, so as long as I guess they meet the deadline and close and happens on time. Oh my goodness, that piss is still sitting there. That's crazy. But the floors look good. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. So this is the closet. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much it for now. Um, I mean, we have, like I said, a week and a half, so I'm pretty sure they said they'll get it done. I'm going to believe that they're going to get it done um, and not worry about it. They're moving pretty quickly. Nothing has been told to us so far that has not been correct. So I'll check back in after our meeting. All right. So these lights right here, they're all LED. Okay, so we just made it back home, and so the meeting wasn't exactly what I thought it was. Um, it was called a homeowner's orientation, but it was like to go over like the house and like our warranties and things like that. Well, remember how I was like going through and I was like, oh, they've already started doing the blue tape and they've already started taping things off. Well, my builder, well, our builder, they don't do um, the walkthrough with the blue tape with the actual homeowners. They actually do the walkthrough themselves and do the blue tape. And I think it was a green tape and maybe another tape, but they do it themselves. So um, 
they had already kind of went through, put tape where they felt needed tape. And then they go back and do it a couple more times. Like somebody put one color, somebody else put another color. So that way they're kind of um, checking behind each other. So my project manager, which is Zach, he goes through, he puts out his color tape where he sees things. And then another project manager from one of the, for, for some of the other homes come through after him and puts other tape where he, where he thinks Zach may have missed. And then someone else comes through, a third person comes through. So that's how they're being accountable for, because with it being a new build, it's going to always be, you know, something. And um, it just, if we would have went through and did the, it would have been like hours. So with that being said, um, we have to go back like next Wednesday, which is will be our like a final walkthrough. I know he told us that today the house would be like 90% or 95%, but it really was like about, he said 90%. I don't know. I don't know. He says that we're going to close on a second everything will be done. It will be probably 98% because like I said, there's going to always be something that we'll notice that they may not have noticed or something. It's always going to be something because it's a, it's a brand new home. And like when the paint was, before we left, the painters were still, were like in there painting a third coat. So they were like constantly painting, but then you get someone who comes and close the door and now the door has a little bit of area that may need to be repainted. So it's going to always be something. So we're just kind of like, you know, everything looked good from our standpoint, other than the little things that I pointed out, like that wasn't our stove um, because we upgraded it to have like a double oven. So he's going to look into that. Um, I noticed a little bit of a ding on the microwave. So he's going to submit for a warranty to get a new cover for that. Uh, just little things. Um, I talked about how the shelf was a little crooked. He said he'll look into that. But once again, another great meeting. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to see how they pull it all together before our closing next week. But they say they're going to get it done. Oh, one other thing was um, our garage door. So garage doors are on back order. We can still close without it. I don't want to delay closing. I really trust that it's going to get done. I just don't want, with the holidays, I don't want to push it back any further. So Dante and I are just like, fingers crossed, the door is there. If it's not, we'll still close and just wait for it to come. Do we want to? No. Will we? Yes. So we'll see. I guess um, we'll see next week what happens if we're closing on Thursday, the second. So fingers crossed. So far, so good. Everyone has been like very, very, um, very uh, good to work with. Communication has been great. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. And until next week. All right, y'all have a good Thanksgiving. All right, bye. Mm -hmm.